Hi everyone, I'm very excited to show you this third part in my infinite energy and it's about Feng Shui, your life wishes. I am really uh, have a lot of fun with this part because it's like I have rediscovered something. I know about Feng Shui since I was a child. My, my father is an amateur Feng Shui person and besides running a big hospital, this is his hobby. So he used to run around and tell me and bring me along and say this is good feng shui, this is bad feng shui. But I wasn't paying attention until recently, three years ago I went to Hong Kong and then I went to a feng shui master's shop and have a conversation with him and he was so good and I thought oh my gosh I wish you come to Minneapolis and help me with my house feng shui. But you know he's gonna not going to travel that far so I bought any, everything, his book, his DVD, to kind of learn Feng Shui myself. And so this is how I started my journey with learning Feng Shui, mainly for myself. Now let me tell you a little bit what Feng Shui is so that you can understand. Basically, Feng Shui is the energy in your environment. We talk about in part two, remember? about um, that you have to have your energy vibration in your body. First part about food, the food you eat to help you to have energy. And then the second is the movement. Now this one is about what's around you. Okay. Now you all have experience when you come, go in the room, you open your hand up. Sometimes on the left hand side I hold a crystal and then feel the room. There's some room that you go, oh my gosh, this is so wonderful. You feel like you're in this outdoor cafe. You feel wonderful feelings. Then there's houses that you walk in, you go, ugh, I want to get out of here. Sometimes if I have a dog with me, like my dog Yoko, she'll go crazy because animals are very sensitive to the vibrational energy in the, in the place. Okay. So what you want to do is to have the environment that promote your alpha wavelength, brain wave, so that you are in your peak performance. Remember in my book, Tao of Youth, in key, at the end of it, I have given each a CD with two track, and I also have this 12 track CD. I play it all the time. Basically, this sound promote my alpha brainwave, so I was able to do a lot of things that I thought I never can because you have peak flow of energy in your house and your brain resonate with this brain wave called alpha brain wave. You don't want to get yourself in the beta which is more the worrying uh, brain wave. Okay? So knowing that then what you do is you create the energy in your house to resonate that way with you. So during good alpha brain wave flow energy you see Olympic performance, you see an actor uh, does such a good job that it really even turned you in tears. Those are those peak flow energy moments. Okay, so this is really the bottom line is what a feng shui is all about. So I've noticed that most of the feng shui that I learned in Western, I think is a joke because it really doesn't help you except more like moving around as an interior decorating kind of a feng shui. So I delve into it deeper. And I've divided feng shui in three different uh, steps. First is feng shui according to step, uh, uh, space. So this is very much like, you know, rearrangement of your furniture so you're not cluttered, so your energy flow well. And, and a lot of the, you know, if you are next to a real big power uh, station, then it's going to affect your energy. So those are all according to space. Second thing is uh, 1985 they discover another feng shui is called feng, feng shui according to time because pre-85 and during the China Mao regime repressed and don't allow uh, feng shui practice because they think it's superstitious but Hong Kong is a colonial British col colony and feng shui just thrives all the major tycoons they all believe in feng shui and feng shui master uh, some of the best come from Hong Kong okay and also after 85 they learn about feng shui according to time okay let me kind of very now 
you don't need to write a note because you'll be able to download some of this information from from my blog okay <coughs> I'm showing you a chart and it's about what they call it nine flying star theory basically what they say is that uh, the way the cosmo is uh, positioned with the Sun and the moon and the Saturn and the way it is moving so there is nine different vortex of energy that that vibrate towards the earth so every year it moves every year it changes and this is written down in I Ching so you don't need to memorize it every year I'll be able to post what is you know written down how those nine different vortex of energy affects you now traditionally two three five seven those are the five we call stars negative energy that will kick up beta brainwave whereas one uh, one three five uh, wait 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 one uh, four six seven eight nine seven no six eight nine are good positive energies so what you want to do is nullify the negative energy stars and then promote the positive energy star so this is the feng shui master in hong kong that showed me how to grid your house because you because your house is always in one position but the movement of the energy changes every year so you just move according to the year and the minute you grid your house the energy just got kind of it's like within nine minutes it goes so it's quite easy to do I will show you in in more videos and in my class I showed my student how to do it so now that you understand the nine flying star you grit your house now the next thing uh, I find with feng shui is called feng shui for manifesting okay um, now I found another feng shui master his name is Edward Lee he's probably one of the very best because all the major tycoon in Hong Kong three out of the four top top billionaires are his clients so he had 20 years experience not only very method method methodical way that he teaches you the theories of feng shui but he also brings in a lot of experience okay so in manifesting he teaches us how to manifest now now that you have your body vibrating right you eat the right kind of food your movement so you have good chi in your body now it's time and, and plus your vibrational uh, energy in your house is in good shape now you can start manifesting okay so there is three kinds of luck there is the heaven luck which is something you're born with so you can't do too much about it secondly is human luck which is your own decision your mind the fourth is earth luck which is feng shui which you can control so you can do something about your environment to have good vibration frequency all right so now is you're ready for manifesting so now the Chinese we uh, have a um, we call it money God the prosperity icon I have someone uh, make this artwork and so you can put it as a symbol basically on the corner of your wealth corner to manifest your wealth and you also have another icon which is Mingju his her name is Mingju and that's for wisdom for helping your children to be wise and also to manifest benefactor to come into your life to uh, help you get to where you want to go okay so we Chinese are shameless when it comes to uh, manifest prosperity because in Chinese New Year first thing we do we say gong hei fa choi meaning I wish you make lots of money and they will and they will do the same thing to us so we don't have any problem with money and every time Chinese New Year will give money pockets so uh, I'll leave you with gong hei fa choi wish you make a lot of money and also down below you can click to my special holiday offer and hope you enjoy it and uh, have a good health and have infinite energy thank you